Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are. It is the birthday stream. So I turned 41 today. It's kind of crazy. Hold on, I got an echo. Of course, of course I have some technical difficulties the moment I start the show. Let me uh, let me get rid of this real quick. Hopefully you guys don't hear that. But anyways, so yeah, so I'm 41 today. It's kind of crazy. Uh, it's crazy to be celebrating a birthday, you know, while this is going on, because obviously, you know, you'd get together as a family. You might go somewhere fun or do something like that. But yeah, it's kind of nuts. But so over the last 48 hours, this is what I did. So we're so bored. So Kim's last night is like, hey, you want to do a um, a mud facial or something like that? And I'm like, all right, I guess like there's nothing else to do. She's like, it feels good and it'll it'll relax you because I'm kind of a like sort of a scatterbrained and uh, I don't know, sort of an all over the place person sometimes. And I have a lot of energy. So, yeah, so <laughs> so I needed something to relax. Right. <laughs> so she does this mud thing and I'll be honest. It felt pretty good. Like, I'm not going to lie. So if you look, I had this headband thing on because my hair's gotten so long. So it's doing this thing. I don't know if you guys can see that where she had this headband thing on me. So my hair's doing this like curly cue thing. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So anyways, I, I look like Kramer or something. It's really weird. I'm going to put my hat back on, though. So yeah, so we did that. And then something that I'll tell you that... Uh, thank you for all the birthday wishes, by the way. So I appreciate you guys joining on a on a Sunday. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. I don't feel any older, but, but I tell you this between when I started YouTube and now I think I've got more gray hairs and definitely put on a lot of weight. So I got to fix that coming up. So yeah, that's something I don't know. I don't really know how to, I don't really know how to, I don't know how to stop the, uh, I think it's just, you know, we, anyways, the weight gain thing I'll figure out. But yeah, it, I've been like lo loving life as far as food goes. That's for sure. So another thing that we've been doing to keep busy is we've been playing. So believe it or not, I know this ga the game isn't the best technically or graphically or anything like that. But we've ha we've had a ton of, of fun with uh, Wheel of Fortune on the Xbox One. So we watch Wheel of Fortune sometimes in the house and we try to guess the phrases and stuff. And we download. I'm like, let's just download the Xbox One one. We're so bored. Let's see how it is. And it was really awesome. Like, it's actually really fun. Like, we actually had a good fun time. Like, don't expect the game. Like, the, the game's weird. Like, they could have they could have like programmed in a couple more voices and stuff. Like, the voices are like, like, like Pat is like, uh, oh, I see uh, you, you know, whatever. It's just lame. He just says the same stuff all, all over again. But anyway, it was fun. We're having a lot of fun with it. And uh, wow, you guys are really awesome with all the birthday wishes. So, so yeah, someone mentioned something about WrestleFest in the background. So I tried to think of a game to put on that kind of reminded me, because I feel like I'm kind of old today, of my childhood. Now, I didn't love the game per se, but I loved wrestling. Like, I thought I was the kid that thought wrestling was real. I mean, real from the aspects of, okay, we know that they actually physically are, are you know, it's a physical sport, but, you know, we know it's 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 choreographed. I didn't know that then. But I loved it. Um, oh, thanks, man. That's uh, Sean Powers' uh, super chat. Here's a small birthday present. Happy birthday! That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. So yeah, so it's been a, uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun over the last, <laughs> you know, trying to come up with things to stay busy uh, while in while in quarantine has been kind of interesting. I am admittedly going kind of insane, but anyway. So I did get myself a birthday present. Um, maybe kind of an unexpected one because I didn't necessarily think about this. So those of you that don't, I'm going to, I'm going to share this. So those of you that don't follow my Facebook group, I was posting for a while. I was actually had it running all day long and I was surprised at how many people joined it, but I was, I was running this auction, um, video, like a live stream of this auction. And it's basically, um, captain's auction warehouse out of California and they'll auction off arcade games all day long and it's like arcades and pinballs and stuff like that and so i you know sort of went in and and i didn't really i actually didn't really think i'd win and i bid on this house of the dead and i actually won it so it's an original house of the dead in this cabin it's really cool if you've never seen it before it's just a really cool iconic piece it's something that i remember uh as a kid so i i was like you know, I kind of I kind of set aside a little budget for myself and said, this is what I'm going to do, uh, you know, for myself for my birthday. And so I think they're actually coming tomorrow, believe it or not. But really, really cool. 
Uh, this machine's actually on wheels, so it weighs like about 400 pounds, but it is on wheels, so that's kind of cool. But supposedly they're going to deliver it right to my storage unit, and uh, and this will be a project for some time. There's a couple things are wrong with it, but for the most part, it's all functional and working, which is really cool. So I was excited about that. And then the other one that I won, no, this one. So there's a guy who who I'm friends with. You'll see he's he's in the chat as cursed existence. I don't know if he's on there right now. But he's like, hey, I was given up on the auction. I'm like, I'm done. Like everyone's outbidding everything. And there was a couple of things I really wanted that I couldn't get. I wanted a Daytona USA and it went for like 350 or something crazy. And so I was like, <clears throat> I'm done. And he goes, dude, log on because right now it was toward the end of the auction. He goes, people are bailing and you can get these really good deals. I didn't think that he was, I was like, whatever, dude. So I kind of ignored him. And he's, he's like, the San Francisco rush is coming up do it like get in it get do it and he's like now imagine like someone egging you on he's like do it do it and you hear the guys like I'm gonna, I'm gonna one through the, the one through the, all through all thing you know he's doing his thing and now he's like texting me dms like do it do it do it <laughs> so i did it and i got this for a wicked good price i got this for 200 dollars. like that's crazy so to think to you know there are people that think that maybe you know you can't find deals and you definitely definitely can but that leads me to my next thing so the next thing I wanted to talk about, you know, really quick was, you know, our, this whole hobby can become, you know, you can go down this rabbit hole very, very deep if you want to. And I just think that, you know, it's not a bad thing, but you do have to like kind of control it. And so I was selling off a bunch of, I, I found a bunch of PCBs that I had bought from arcade games and I'm selling a lot of those off. And I was surprised at how quickly, like, I think a lot of people are bored right now. They're at home and they want to do projects because I posted a TMNT which is the original TMNT board. I featured it in a video at some point and uh, it went in less than five minutes. So in less than five minutes, someone bought it on eBay. I was like, holy crap. So I was, so I was thinking, all right, well, I'll see if I can get rid of a couple more of these things. So I post NBA Jam. NBA Jam, gone, 20 minutes. Like, what the hell? Uh, I even posted a Neo Geo single slot. I actually have three Neo Geo boards, believe it or not. And that one went in like, 10 or no that one took a little longer that one took that one was like more like an hour but still i mean i'm just i'm just you know I'm, it's crazy but the thing is why i say like you can get so enthralled in the um in the hobby is that i i became a an arcade board hoarder really like if you think about it because there's no way in a lifetime i could play with all of the arcade stuff that i have now, I think you can be healthy in a hobby and then you can kind of go off track. I'm not saying I went off track, but I definitely got, you know, I, I, I love this stuff. So the, the thing, the why I buy all this stuff is I'll tell you, like some of it's for the channel. But the other part is like, I guess because it's my birthday, it's making me think of this. So when you buy these things, it does actually, you know, ha have that nostalgic value to it, that nostalgic feel, which is a good feeling, but it does kind of it does kind of dissipate until you buy the next thing, which gives you the next nostalgic feeling. So I do think in that way, it becomes a little bit like drug like, you know, like because, you know, when you when you do, when someone's a, dr a drug addict, they it's the high and then they go down and they need the high again. So I do feel not to not to be depressing. It's not the point of this, but it is that nostalgic feel that you get. So I did I did have a point to this now. Hmm. Uh, I don't remember now. That's bad. I had an actual point to telling you guys this. What the heck was it now? Oh, oh, so the other thing that the element of the hobby that becomes really... <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> the first stage of denial. At least I'm admitting it. But no, there's a thing. Uh, I got off track. But um, the other thing that's really cool. So I thought that the nostalgia was more the game, right? Like, oh, I loved that game. And that is really cool. And there's a huge nostalgia feel to that. But one of the things that's really, really neat, and I didn't really know this part of the hobby so much. So I did a couple of uh, full-size arcades maybe 15 years ago. And then I kind of did more MAME. I did MAME for a long time. It was all MAME. It was like just all emulation. And I love that. But when I went re more recently back into arcade cabinets, every arcade cabinet almost has a story that can be told through opening it up looking at the coin door like it's really neat you you don't realize it but like for instance you'll open up the cabinet and someone might have left something behind like me and a lot of people will will you know if they're courteous of the game and want to keep it in its original form they might have the manuals in there or someone might have put in like some 
you know, some materials that came with the original shipping unit. Or sometimes you open up the control panel and you see something goofy that someone did and you're like, why did they do that? And it's like, oh, I know why they did that. They did that because the machine was making money and they want it to make more money and they needed to fix it really quick. So now I'm loving this aspect of like, oh, I took the marquee out. Someone took the original fixture out and put like some weird fixture in there, like literally like took, you know, went to Home Depot and went and got like a light bulb fixture and put it in there, like something that wasn't the original one. And so it's just neat to see some people really care about these cabinets and have some the nostalgia runs really deep like guys like that richie knuckles guy or even like a joe sabo where they want to restore it to its original form because they want the cabinet to live on you know like they want other people and other generations to experience it so there's definitely like different aspects of it now some cabinets like my street fighter 2 it was on location in, uh, in in routes and stuff and so it it was kind of beat up. It's sort of sad in a way, but my goal is like, I want to make that thing happy again. You know, I know it sounds stupid. It's not a human being, but there's something about it that sort of like brings you back to that time where you were playing it there, you know, like kind of transforms you back into that time. But there's also something really cool to know that I'm not going to have that cabinet forever. I'm not going to die with that cabinet. I will sell it at some point and some other generation will be able to have that cabinet and hopefully appreciate it the way I did. So I don't know. That's it's. I know I'm getting a little sentimental, but it's my birthday, and I'm kind of thinking about that stuff. <laughs> so, so it's kind of cool. Uh, but no, thank you, Zohar. He said, uh, "Have some birthday pizza on me, Ralph. Happy birthday!" Thanks, Zohar. Big, huge supporter of the channel, and been been so for a while. So, thank you so much, uh, Arcade Guy. Happy birthday, uh, cool retro nerdy cowboy. Stay healthy and safe. That's awesome. Uh, hey, Pixel Game Squad awesome guys i mean if you never watched the pixel game squad before go check them out awesome awesome guys they have a very long history on youtube that's actually really interesting which i didn't know about i met them um at uh at game on expo last year you know hopefully there is one this year i really really hope there is one this year i mean it would be, i think for the gaming community on the west coast if we could just get together one time this year that would be so awesome i'd be super grateful for that but uh, really awesome dudes. Like, go check out. Like, just just honestly, you want to know what I love about them the most? I know I'm sort of going off. Is they're very, very extremely genuine. And I truly believe, even though I don't know them that well, I think it's a what you see is what you get. And I hope you realize that's what it is here. Like, I say some stuff that maybe uh, others wouldn't say. <laughs> and uh, And I don't care so much about being in the good graces of, like, one company or the other. Uh, because those companies, honestly, they just see us as free advertisement for them. So I, there's some nice people that work at these places. But at the same time, I think getting too close to one company or the other, which admittedly, maybe I did a little bit on, on the arcade one upside, you become sort of like you feel like, oh, I have to say only good things. And I'm not saying you have to be negative, but it's good to be real, right? And and just say, say it for what it is, because it's very easy to fall into a mode where you're just hyping everything like everything is awesome. You know, it reminds me of that. It reminds me of that Lego movie where they sing that everything is awesome song. I feel like some YouTube channels become that everything is awesome. And sometimes stuff isn't so awesome. And uh, actually, yeah, it, there's a story I could go on, but I feel like I'm kind of babbling right now. I'll say I'll tell it really quick. So and I, and I thought this was weird at first, but and this is another pixel game squad thing. So he I, I don't know his job exactly, but I think he works for like an electric company or something like that. And he was on a pole fixing something or something like that. And a guy like almost like physically attacked him and he put that on the channel. But there's a really cool story to it. Like, I, I don't know, like it seems like a random thing to put on the channel, but it was a very real experience. And I just love that kind of stuff. Like, I like when people just let you know a little bit about themselves, too, because otherwise I'm just a channel talking about technology and that's cool and that's fun. But. I think it's cool to know the person behind it. And so I try to be as much myself as possible. So the goofy, weird stuff, that's pretty much how I am every day. I annoy Kim on a regular basis. <laughs> she has a good she has a good tolerance level for me, though. Like most of the time she laughs at the stuff I do. But sometimes she's like, OK, <laughs> enough's enough. <laughs> but, but so she's a saint for being able to put up with someone like me. Uh, all right. So CT, thanks for the super chat. Restoration is half the fun. It's true. Uh, and I will say the same thing about modding. Modding is one of those things, too. If you really get into modding, it's kind of, just know that if you watch the channel and you look at some of the older videos I have where I'm talking about modding and doing mods and all that stuff, it's very fun. But it's also, it becomes as much about the project as it does about the game. So, like, you'll end up 
actually really enjoying the process of modding. And some of that is um, the feeling you get when you accomplish a project. Like even if it's a project around your house, you know, you, you, I don't know, you, whatever it is, you mow the lawn or you look back and go, wow, the lawn looks good. Or you, you know, any little project, I feel like there's that sense of pride. Modding has a huge sense of pride piece where you're just, even if at any skill level, if you're just a beginner, there, when you look back and go, man, I just did that. I put in LED buttons or something, whatever it is. That little thing is just that the feel you get from being, a, it's an accomplishment feeling, which is really cool. Mike, thank you for the super chat. He says, has storage locker, doesn't think he went off track. We're all off track. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, maybe that's true. <laughs> there was a super chat I missed here. Hold on. Stringer Films. I, can, I, I can't find it to put it up on the screen, unfortunately, but he said, happy birthday. Now go wash your hands and don't touch your face. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Stringer. I can't find it. Uh, it must have been way back here while I was going on my little diatribe. I totally missed it. I'm so sorry, bud. I can't find it. Let's see. I'll try. I want to put it on the screen, but I can't find it. All right. Uh, Mike from Rhode Island says, happy birthday. Thanks for the super chat. I really appreciate it. So I wanted to tell you this. So I have a, a little, little, um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, go figure. Uh, I have a couple of giveaways for today. So I figured, you know, a lot of it'd be fun to do a giveaway, sort of a birthday giveaway. So if you do look in the link of this video, uh, there is going to be a link to enter every single one of these. Now, all I need you to do is just give a thumbs up on the video and then put your information on on those links. So you should see a link for the NBA Jam book, the Playgo portable handheld and the LDK game handheld. So I'm giving all these things away. All you have to do is just put a thumbs up on the video and then you just go to the link in the description. It'll bring you to a website. You just put in your name and email. So get this. I finally freaking figured out how to do giveaways. <laughs> like who would have thought? Like there's an actual website you go to that you actually put your name in and your email. So I know exactly who entered. And then I can say pick winner. Like why did I not figure this out a long time ago? So thank you. The Rexer show actually is the one that pointed me. He's like, hey, uh, you seem a little challenged with this whole, uh, uh, you know, contest and giveaway thing. So he totally hooked it up. So, yeah. So and then there is the official NBA Jam giveaway. I totally botched that because I'm going to be honest with you. So Justin will force me to do things sometimes where I'm not ready for them. So I didn't have a system in place. So I blame Justin. The M you can blame Justin for the NBA Jam giveaway. And if you go back and watch that video, you'll notice he goes, oh, hey, I didn't tell Ralph about this, but we should do a giveaway, Ralph. And I'm like, dude. And so I wasn't ready to do that giveaway. So I may even ha have go post official links to enter that so I can track it and it's fair. Because right now I feel like I love Justin. He is my as much of a host of One Up Weekly as I am. But uh, he drives me, which is good. I need someone to push me. And I wasn't ready for that. And I should have said no. She said no, Justin. Like you do with like a, your, your dog who's barking. No, no. That's a Howard Stern reference. I think he goes, no. But anyways, uh, yeah, you got to, you got to, got to, got to pump the brakes on Justin sometimes. He, uh, he has a lot of big ideas, as do I. But sometimes I get a real, really anxious. I'm actually a really anxious person, whether, whether you guys see that or not. So, so again, to enter this contest, all you have to do, give the video a thumbs up and then hit the links in the description. All three of these should be live at this point. Uh, but I thought it'd be fun to do something else real quick. I'm going to try to do something. I don't know if this is going to work. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to take this away. I'm going to add this. Oh, whoa. OK, let's see if this actually works. We're on the mobile cam here. I want you guys to see this room, because a lot of you guys probably don't even know what the hell this room looks like. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to disable this camera I'm on right now. Look at this crazy hair I got right now. That's out of control, and it's all gray. So freaking old. All right. Um, <laughs> all right, hold on a second. I'm going to show this super chat. It's my birthday. It's a happy day. P Dubs Arcade Loft says, Happy birthday. Check your mailbox for your P Dub sticker. I couldn't be happier to receive that. That is going to be the gift that keeps on giving forever. Thank you, Patrick Walton, aka P Dubs. Appreciate that. All right. Let's go to uh <laughs> let's let's go to this mobile cam real quick. Let me see if I can pull this off. All right. Can you guys hear me? Give me a give me a one if you can hear me. I'm waiting. <laughs> Come on. Yes, we can hear you. Is that a yes or a one? What is it? 
Oh, God. Okay, you can't. Thanks, Nikki. You're the only one that listens. All these guys can't listen to instructions. See? You need a, we need more females because they actually listen. You guys don't listen. All right, hold on. So we're going to do a quick tour. Uh, let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip the camera around, and I'm going to get this off the stream. So we're going mobile, so keep in mind, audio is not going to be great, but I wanted you guys to see what's going on in this room. So this is the room that I – here, we'll start from get, coming into the room. Here, we'll – We'll do this. All right. We're going to pretend like that's my son's room. It's all dark in here. Okay. So right now we're in the hallway. This is the room where the magic happens. We're opening up the door. Okay. So what you'll see, and the door can't open all the way because it's crap behind it. You'll see there's a lot of random stuff on the floor, but this is the area where I film everything. So you can see, actually, there's some work stuff. Let's not, let's not put that visible all right so yeah so this is the desk i just want you to know this is the chaos i live in so like all my audio equipment is all over here but it's all like under a sea of crap there's you guys on the screen right whoa that's crazy i got my camera mounted right there and then you have these two little lights that kind of make sure i don't look like crap and then you got this um this is something i rigged up which i still haven't really done anything with yet but i can move this up and down it's just a it's kind of like a something i just rigged so i can have stuff on the table cam but i can bring the webcam closer i know it's a webcam it's not the best quality but it works really good for stuff like this so <coughs> excuse me um over here is usually an area where if i'm streaming games or making videos all the systems and things i need to either strip stream content or stuff are right here that machine is a uh that machine right there is actually hyper running hyperspin and that one's running coin ops. And then I have my mega SG. If you don't have a mega SG, holy crap. I, I haven't played it in a, in like five months and I decided to play it. You don't even understand the, like it makes a Sega Genesis look way better than a Sega Genesis has ever looked ever. I don't care. Like it's actually better than the original. It's pricey, but holy crap. If you have carts, it's totally worth it. So anyways, that's the rack. And then when I'm on a show, and believe me, this is not very organized, but when I'm doing a show, if I'm streaming and I'm doing like content, like this switch actually is broken up into different different things. So if I want to show you guys the, the At Games Legends Ultimate, I hit one, and then that actually enables the At Games Legends Ultimate, which is right there, which I haven't really done any videos on recently, but I will. I'm going to get back to that at some point. I got burnt out, admittedly, on that device just because all the firmware updates uh, this is just a rack with Scott consoles and stuff like that. I can't see your, the chat, guys, so just know I'll get back to it when I get back to my desk here in a minute. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of stuff around because as I'm doing videos, I, I put the stuff on the floor so you don't see it, but the room is kind of in chaos all the time. And then, you know, WrestleFest on the wall right there. This is a random light. This is a cabinet I haven't done a review on yet. This is the junior Um Rec Room Masters Junior cabinet. This actually is a pretty cool cabinet. And um, I'm using I'm using a Pi 4 on it right now, but I'm having some problems where this Pi 4 image might be overclocked and it's overheating. So this case kind of sucks. So I'm thinking I need to... That's why I haven't done a video on it yet. I'm trying to figure out whether I want to do a Pi 4 or something else like that. So this is the room that I never show. This is all the crazy crap that I'm like, Look, I mean, this is not organized by any stretch, but this is all the stuff that I use for modding and making videos. And I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. Like, I haven't even dabbled into a lot of this stuff. Like, I've been trying to make this video for a really long time. Some of these are actually, I think the rest of them are up here. Yeah. So this this container is filled with homebrew and repro carts. So I was going to do a whole episode on homebrew Genesis games. Because there's a lot of companies out there that will, not really companies, they're individuals, that will actually burn um, repros of games for you. And they'll take hacked games and make actual physical carts of them, which is kind of cool. So if you're not into like doing emulation or you want the physical carts, it's pretty cool. Uh, and there's a bunch of stuff over here. So I was going to take something from this room and add it to the giveaway pile, but I'm not sure what it's going to be. There's my Cowboy Retro Ralph hat. A bunch of stuff up there. I'm not really sure. Another Dreamcast. There's lots of Dreamcasts around for some reason. <laughs> I do love that console, but I have way too many of those. Like, this is so random, this little guy right here. 
<laughs> like seriously. Anyway, so I was going to grab something. I'm going to go back to my desk and see. Like you guys take a look around here. Now keep within reason. I will give something away in here. I just don't know what it should be. So I'll let you guys take a quick look. I mean, I would even be inclined to give away stuff that maybe is just sitting here. But, you know, some of this stuff I can enjoy and some stuff I just don't have time to enjoy because I'm either filming it or doing whatever. Like, look, never did a video on it. Sitting right there. It's been there for a long time. Never did a video. Um, I just found this the other day. Didn't even know I had it, actually. But I have a NES EverDrive. Didn't even know I had one. Cool. <laughs> like, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, Pandora's boxes? Sure. Pandora's box. Yeah. So there's Lifestyles of the Rich and Retro hat down there. Silver Strike Boast Bowling PCB. This is where I keep all the, like, if I'm doing buttons, those are crappy buttons, by the way. But if we're doing buttons, like, I've got that. I have, like, this is all, this is my modding corner. So, like, you know, there's buttons everywhere. You know, secured ties and tie downs. And, I mean, it gets pretty bad. Um, you know, Jamma boards. Like, this Jamma board I planned on doing a, video on i don't even remember oh no i did do a video on that air attack we did a video on that so anyways i'm gonna give something else away in this room i just don't know what I'm not sure i'm gonna go back to the desk now and we will wrap up the show but something in here needs to be given away i just don't know what it's gonna be so we'll go back hopefully you guys didn't all leave all right let's get back here Get back to the desk. Sorry about all the mess right now. You're staring at the wall, and I apologize for that. All right, I'm gonna, you know what we should do? Look, hold on. Before we do this, let's just go. Let's see what Kim's doing. Who thinks we should go see what Kim's doing? Give me a yes if you think we should go see what Kim's doing. If you can't choose, close your eyes and point. That's awesome. All right, we're going to see what she's doing real quick. I know she might not be happy with me doing this. And I didn't even wait for your guys' response, but we're going to go see. By the way, those of you that think the games are only up there, they're up here too. Wait, I think she's listening too. Babe, can you pause that? Mute it. Because I'm coming down, it'll echo. Come on, please mute it. Oh, here she is. Hold on. Are you going to let people see you? You can't go away. You have to. She's going to act all super, super duper um, shy now. Say hi, at least. They've been waiting for you to say something for a long time. Hi, guys. <laughs> what are you making? I'm making a fruit pizza. A fruit pizza? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. That looks awesome. Is that a cookie underneath? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Hey, doggies. Hi. Hey, what you doing? Oh, I hate when people see my feet. Hi, do you want to say hi? Are you guys from China? Are you Shih Tzus? Say hi, I'm a Shih Tzu. Say, I'm, I'm from... Oh, she doesn't like that. Okay. Come here, Bella. Hi. 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 I'm so cute. All right. We're going to go. <laughs> We're going to go upstairs. I'll show you some madness down here really quick. Just know that the gaming stuff just flows everywhere. So here's, um, you know, I don't have so much stuff down here. There's another Xbox One. There's the, uh, I did bring the Turbo Graphics down here because I really, I didn't have one as a kid. And I really want to, okay, okay, okay. Okay, enough. Oh, she like, show me your football. Oh, look at the football. So go. Daddy, I want football. But Corona, the cacaron. I want the football. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're so mean. You're so mean. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Kim. Bye. We're going back upstairs. We're going to wrap up the show. Oh, actually, let's go into the arcade room just really, really quick. So I really wish I had time to, you know, have fun with all this stuff. But a lot of times I don't. So we've seen the beast on the show. I have not done a video yet on the Play Choice 10, but I'm really excited to do one at some point. We did that live stream, but I'd like to do a whole video. And then I finally did, this actually is running, uh, it is running Area 51, Maximum Force. So I'm gonna plug it in really quick. I know this, I'm going a little off track, but I told you that's what I do. So I'm gonna plug this in really fast. I just don't have the audio working yet. 
but I did change out the PCB. Oh, I do have the audio working. Never mind. Yeah, so it's it's running um, the Area 51 Maximum Force PCB, and it looks really good, too. So I'm super stoked on this. I replaced one of the guns so far, but I haven't replaced the other one. So this one's brand new, a brand new gun. This one's kind of all crusty and not really working very well. But yeah, this is an exciting one. I'm going to do a video on that soon. The Street Fighter is still you know, it's working fine, but I need to clean up the cabinet and stuff like that. And then you got, you know, you got the Miss Pac-Man Galaga, which I love. This one came from an arcade owner's house. So it's in really good shape. It never was in an arcade. And then there is actually, this is where I do my normal work, day job stuff. And uh, I've got that guy. And then this is like a testing area. So I probably, I probably shouldn't have this down here, but I'm running out of space, as you guys know. All right. Let's go back upstairs and we will wrap things up. I did want to pick one more giveaway from that cab, from that thing. And I think I know what I'm going to pick, but I'm not sure yet. So let's go back upstairs. All right. Sorry, dogs. I'm sorry, doggies. Shitsus. Goodbye, Shitsus. All right. They're very sweet doggies. Very sweet. Okay. This is Tanner's dungeon where he plays Xbox One. He's not here right now, but. Sorry for the dark video. All right. I'm out of breath. See? 41. Out of shape. Out of breath. All right. Let's wrap this show up. I'm going on. I'm going to the going to the big the big screen again. Hold on. Oh man. All right. All right, guys. We're getting back to the desk. Hold on one sec. You should hear the audio get a hell of a lot better in a minute. Strapping on my headphones. All right. And we're back. Are we back? Yes, we're back. All right. So you guys got to see Kim. You guys got to see the dog. The dogs. Bella and Lola are their names, by the way. Uh, I actually mess with them a lot. Like I, I <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. Oh, let, me, let me cancel that. All right. I, 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 uh, I, 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 caffeine's kicking in, guys. All right. So that's it. I don't know. So I got the three. So we got the so we got the the giveaways on the table, right? We did. So hopefully if you guys are, are joining right now, make sure you go and like the video if you like it. I mean, that is I'm making that kind of a requirement to enter, but put the thumbs up on the on the video and then uh, you'll see links for three things. You'll see the LDK game, the play go and the NBA jam. So the the con or the giveaway does end tomorrow at midnight. So what will happen is I'll go into the tool. I'll hit select winner. It randomly selects the winner. And then I'm not sure. I'll probably just reach out to the person individually or maybe I'll just do a video and announce it and reach out to them. We'll see how we do it. But I plan on getting this stuff out this week. So uh, if you if you are the winner, I'll get it out this week. Now, I want to get your guys' opinion on something because it was one thing I was going to give away. And then I was like, I don't know that people would be interested in it, but I think it'd be fun. But I do need to go get it really quick. Um, got another super chat here. Thanks for sharing. Happy uh, 40, 41st birthday. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Really do. Uh, I also appreciate you guys hanging out. I know we did. We basically did a house tour. And um, I don't know. We got to see what Kim was up to downstairs. She's very shy on camera, which is weird because I've got her to be in videos before. And she's really good. Someone's calling me. Who's calling me? My daughter's calling me. That's that's not good because I don't have any way of picking. I don't even know where my phone is. Oh, I was using my phone for the video, wasn't I? <laughs> All right. Um, I lost track. I lost track of time. What are we doing? Uh, see what I mean? I lose track. And we saw the fruit pizza. You guys saw the fruit pizza. So that's like final. If I, was, if I had Justin here to do guitar, my final thoughts would be like, we saw a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys one more thing. I do have to get it. Wait, did I leave it? Oh, it's on the floor over here. I oh my gosh the dogs are barking their asses off right now I don't know if you can hear that uh to your left oh yeah 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 good <laughs> oh my gosh you guys are so good there's my phone <laughs> all right I really got to go because my kids are here we're gonna do a happy birthday thing so I'll show you guys the other item I I might add it to the giveaway I'll just see if what you guys think I'm gonna show it and if you guys think it's cool I'll put it as a giveaway if not I won't so give me one second while I grab it off the floor which is it's right over here. Okay, I've had this for a while. Uh, actually, the reason why I bought this is it was inspired by um, 
by the pixel game squad guys so they did a video on this and i was like oh that's cool um it has its quirks it's a quirky gaming thing it's not a thing that i would suggest you any go out run out and buy definitely not uh and i love this company by the way i love hyperkin but like this is a cool quirky thing but i would by no means suggest you run out and buy it but i might give it away so here it is the uh, Xbox One, it's the Xbox One S wheel. So it's actually, um, it's it's almost, you can think of it like, it's it's almost like the pu putting your uh, Wii Mote into, um, oh shoot, I think my kids are, in, are coming. Okay, it's, do you guys think I should do it? I'll put, I'll throw it in there if you guys think it's a cool giveaway. I'll, I'll basically, so all right, here's what I need you to do. So we're going to end the stream because my kids are here and we're, we're going to do a little birthday breakfast thing. But what I'll do is I'll put it in in the description. I promise I'm not going to do the thing where I say I'm going to and I don't. And I and if I don't do that, it's usually because I forgot. It's not because I like don't want to. It's like that I'm that scatterbrained that I actually forgot. So just keep in mind, I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it is kind of a cool giveaway. It's a little quirky. It works on Xbox One and Windows 10. Um, but don't expect it to be like as good as like a Logitech. Nine, um, I can't remember the model number, like a Logitech wheel or anything like that. But it's still pretty fun. All right, so that's it, guys. That's all I got. There's a lot of you guys that hung out, so I really appreciate it. The support from the community has been really awesome. And honestly, uh, I know I've gotten a lot of messages that said, hey, during quarantine, I really love that you did the live streams or I really love the Sunday show, which there won't be a Sunday show today, by the way. But um, those messages mean a lot to me because, you know, it, it, it does take a lot of time and energy to do this, but I love doing it. I really do love doing it, but it wouldn't really be worth it if I didn't get the kind of reaction that you guys have given over the over the, the almost year and a half I've been doing it. So, you know, it's a feel it's a feel good thing because there's a lot of great people in the community, and that shows. There's also some not so great people in the community too, but that's such a small percentage, right? It's easy to focus on the negative when there's. But think about it, right? In anything you do in life, there's gonna be one person that's gonna say something bad to you or nasty or whatever, but there's like you know, a hundred others are going to say nice things. So like it is easy as a human being to focus on the negative, but that's a very small percentage. So you guys have just been awesome and it's been, it, it's, it's made it worth doing all this and investing all the time that it takes to do it. And so it makes me just as happy as it does the messages I get. So it's pretty cool. So it's like this really neat, you know, give and take kind of thing, but, uh, but I, I do love it and I love all the support that you guys show. So that's it. That's all we're going to do. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to end it right now, but I will go right now. I promise. I'll go right now and I'll put this link in and then I got to go for birthday stuff. So you'll see this link in there. So please wait. Give me like five minutes and you'll see a link in there for this giveaway. I'm not going to put a picture because I don't have time. Hold on. One more. One more super chat. So Harsk, always got to get the last words. You should do vlogs with Kim. Guaranteed one million views. <laughs> well, we got to I got to get Kim over the hump. She's she's a little shy still. So we'll get her over the hump. But uh, thanks so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate everything that you guys do, all of the support. And uh, we will see you next Sunday. Undoubtedly, there'll be some vi a video or two during the week. I try to always do those lunchtime live streams, but I really do appreciate it. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. You guys made this morning birthday pretty awesome. All right. Take care.